Jim Gillum here, member of Bluegrass Cut-Ups. One of the, the all-time. Tim, is it true you've been traveling around uh, Keith Whitley's and Ricky Skaggs' old bus? Yes, that's true. Did a little true. traveling recently. Who was that with? I don't know, Tim. It's true. No. No. <laughs> Who was it, really? No, it was Timmy Klein. So, uh, Curly Ray Klein, the famous fiddle player. Who you Ralph's saw family. last week? She saw Curly Ray last week. Yeah. Fiddle player for Ralph. That's the, right. The, the fat man. Yeah, the fat man that did the funny songs. Uh-huh. And uh, so y'all been traveling around playing a little music together, right? Of course. All right. right. Well, how's that bus? Does it, does it have that? Does it make you play better when you're in it? Yeah, but it needs to be overhauled. It's smoking like a freight train. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, you sort of get a feel like the young guys who's there, you know, years ago. Yeah. All right, you see uh, Doug, come here. This is Mr. Doug McCormick, one of the finest, all-time greats. And uh, Doug, tell us about this guitar. How long have you had it? It was, it was made new in 1986. <laughs> is that right? Yes. You really tore it up? Those have been three long years, that's all I can really, say. It comes from Bob Barr belt buckles and stainless steel picks. Is that right? Turn it around and show them the belt buckle holes. Look at this. It looks like artwork. But it's a beautiful sounding guitar in here. He's going to do some hot picking on it today. Get the bass man over here. What are y'all going to be picking today? Huh? What are y'all going to be picking today? We're going to play an old fiddle tune called Lebanon. It yes. right. goes right. way back. That's a nice one. I think I've heard that song. Who's that favorite? Judges? Some people around here have yes, heard that. He was a good bass yeah. player. Knox, come here. <laughs> then we're going to do. Then we're going to do. Why don't you tell me so? And. Uh, the judge said a while ago we had to play two songs, and I said, why don't you tell me so? And he said, well, what are your two songs? I said, well, why didn't you tell me so? He went, no, no, come here. here. No, I wouldn't be told. Boo, boo. That's Let tall. me stand down here. That was, that's that's better. Ken Knox, bass player extraordinaire. He is from <laughs> Lebanon, as you can tell from the dark skin. He's from Lebanon. We named that song after him. Isn't that right, Knox? Thank you. Thank you. How's the bass looking today? Look at the bass over here. Okay. Get a picture of his bass. Max and I go way back. Max, you've been playing that mandolin, I mean, the yeah. fiddle a long time, as I know. That's right. Tell That's us right. Uh, how long you've been playing. Oh, since about 10 years old. 10 years old. Was that about 10 years ago? And he's 15 uh, now. A little, little different than that. Uh -huh. Something like 49 years ago. 49 right? years ago. Yeah. Well, uh, you, where are you from? Over in Denton, North Carolina, about Center home of, State. Home of, home of one of the all-time famous bluegrass festivals, isn't it? Yeah, that's Dole, near. Noah Lawson's festival. Yeah, the Denton Farm Park, it's called. What's the name of your band? Uh, well, uh, I don't really belong to the band. I play with uh, <coughs> What's the name of your band? Max Lanning Band. That's 